there, welcome to Fulcrum and the Force. I'm Jim, and this is my channel dedicated to everything Star Wars. And that's right, you've seen the thumbnail, you've seen the title. I have a delivery right here. See, look, still sealed and everything. I've, I've not opened the box. So this is the Black Series Bo-Katan helmet. Um, to go up on my display with all the rest of my helmets up there. So I've not seen it yet. Let's literally open this box right now and have a look to see what's inside. The The top of the box is bulging a bit. Um, I'm hoping that's for padding because if that's anything else, then uh, that might be a problem. He says slicing straight through whatever it might be. Or not slicing through. Nope, there we go. And thankfully, it's just the padding. So, let's get the padding out of the way. Oh, my days, there's actually loads of padding in there, which is really, really good. And here, woo! Oh, here it is. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Black Series boxing, the, their current their current box designs with this sort of cut out. They do it on the figures as well. Um, I say I love it. No, I don't love it enough to keep the boxes. I'm an out of box collector. I don't see the point in keeping something in its box. I'm like, oh, you may as well just get a picture. If you're gonna, my opinion, obviously, whatever you do is entirely up to you. But I'm like, if you just wanna see that, a picture stick it on your wall but if you want to see it in the flesh you got to get it out and you got to keep it out you got to have a look oh let's keep these in the box they might be worth something someday yep and someday may never come so open the box get these things out and enjoy them just have fun with them that's how i see it anyway no disrespect at all meant to anybody that keeps their stuff in the boxes, that's fair. Just not for me. So, there's a lot of sellotape in this box. I'm glad I brought these scissors with me because otherwise this would have been interesting. Oh my days, that's all connected and everything. So we've got, we've got some instructions here. Uh, probably how to put the batteries in. Ah, oh, AAA. Yes. Um, and then here we have, like, on the Boba Fett one, we have obviously a range finder, which if you know anything about their helmets, don't do anything really because they're too far away for you to actually see anything. So anything you're staring at is actually off that way. So you can't. Anyway. That's beside the point. So we have the range finder there, standard front slides off for the range finder there. Some nice detailing there. Obviously I'll, I'll show you all everything up much closer once this is out. I just wanna make sure that I've got everything out of the box and I'm not missing anything. No, so this wonderful, lovely box, beautiful artwork, everything. Bit. Oh. oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh my word. Look at that. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh, dude. That's dope. Okay, right. Give me two seconds to put the batteries in. I'll put the rangefinder on and uh, we'll have a closer look at this beautiful piece of absolute art. And there it is, Bo-Katan's helmet. I mean, it looks incredible. Um, I'm not sure how well you can hear me. I'm assuming it's coming out quite nicely. Look, you can always see my beard underneath the helmet. 
It fits really nicely. Um, I would say that, ooh, I would say that it fits kind of somewhere in between the Boba Fett helmet and the Mando helmet. The Mando helmet is very snug. The Boba one kind of goes out to the sides and is very, very loose. This one's somewhere in between, which kind of feels, feels nice. Um, it feels really good. Uh, look at the, the detail. We'll get into the detail in a second. I just want to go through a few things on this. So we've got the rangefinder, same as uh, Boba Fett. You take this piece off, this whole piece comes off, this piece comes off, battery goes in there. And then you just clip these bits back on and then you press that button, which turns on the rangefinder. And it all lights up and everything. Which is very, very cool. I like that. Um, I would say that action's nice. That feels good. Solid. I really like, I really like how that goes. Um, I would say the fit inside, if you can see inside there, slightly different than uh, the Boba helmet in that, in the, I mean, I'm not sure about the reforged one, but in the original Boba helmet, back here was like a little dial that you change depending on your head size, but it didn't stay. So like, if you put too much pressure, it would just undo and just slip and it wasn't very tight. But this actually has, um, this has little sort of pins that you un unpop, move it around, pop it back in. Um, so you can really get the fit perfect for your head. Um, I need to re redo those a bit. It feel, felt a bit like it was slipping backwards on mine, um, but I literally only just put it on, so I just did it very, very quickly. Um, but the fit's quite nice. It doesn't feel claustrophobic. Um, doesn't feel too tight. It just, it's just cool. Like, let's have a closer look at some of the detail of this. It's difficult. My mic's right there, so I don't want to hit it or anything. But... He says, hitting it, brilliant, listen, it is what it is at this point. Uh, the battle damage on this is wonderful. The, the owl design on the front is incredible. Um, the shape of this helmet is luscious. Now, I have a thing about the Black Series helmets is I feel like Hasbro constantly just released the same thing over and over again. Like, we had the Boba helmet, we had the reforged Boba helmet, the Death Watch was essentially just a repainted Boba helmet. Um, and I'm like, can we not have something different than that? Like, um, Wedge's helmet is a repaint of Luke's helmet, you know? And it's just like, can we, can we try new stuff? Can we try and have some new things? Uh, the Mando helmet, actually very, very different to Boba's helmet, a different... Uh, style and again this one is different too not just the visor piece here which is obviously very very different than Boba's um, the cheeks the cheeks here you, the uh, the indent is a lot higher it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom like it would on on uh, Boba's um, so that's really nice um, the back is very very similar like if you looked at it from the back you would think it was just another one of those um, one thing I would say is while I do really like that and that is a nice smooth action, um, I feel like there could be something more in some of these helmets. Um, like if you look at some of the others, like v the Vader one, there's so much going on there. Loads of different sounds going on in it. The Luke one is all the X-Wing sounds and R2 and then you can switch it and have snow speeder sounds and... And this is a couple of lights and the, it's very tight, it's brand new, and the, the range finder lights up. It's cool, but I think uh, in here, something like what's in Captain Cardinals, which is actually a voice changer, I think that would be pretty cool. Um, I think, to be fair though, this is still a nice piece, um, like a nice addition to it, much better than what we got on Mando, which was a flashlight, literally just a flashlight on the side of his head that you don't have on anyway, ever. Um, and some lights on the inside, which you can't see when it's on. So th that was a weird one. 
Um, but I, I think, you know, if there were, if there was anything I could say that I would prefer to have, it's maybe a voice changer, voice changer or some sounds inside, um, you know, sound of a uh, backpack or some like Mando sounds or blasters going off. That would be pretty cool. Um, but that's nice. That's, that's smooth. But overall, I mean, look at it. Look at how good it looks. I think that's probably the nicest one we've had. Like design wise, it just looks incredible. I think anyway, that's my opinion. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have this and, and what you thought of it. I've, I've seen uh, Chris Nerd Dad. He's done a review. I didn't watch his review before I did mine because I didn't want to steal any of his ideas. Um, but I'm going to go and watch his review now, see what he thought of it. Uh, but tell me what you think. Uh, the fact that this isn't originally due out until, I think, September or later. Um, the fact that we've been able to get hold of this a little bit earlier is very, very cool. Um, it is out there available. In the UK, I got mine from staractionfigures.co.uk. So if you are looking to pick this up, you don't want to wait for your Amazon pre-order, which still states, I think, 1st of September, then get rid of that, pop over to Star Action Figures and pick yourself one of these up um, because it's very nice and it's going to look very, very cool on the display with all the other one, two, three, four, the other four Mando helmets that I have. <laughs> I've got an almost an entire clan at this point. Um, but very cool. Let's put it on one more time. Very nice. Lovely. Look at that. Action. Right. My point. This is here. My eye's actually here. You. You're aiming. You're doing that. It's not real. Don't worry about it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I'll be back soon with some more stuff. Um, but until next time, don't forget, oh, I can't really do a Jedi thing, so this is the way!